Welcome to the overview of the Tektronix PQA600 and PQA-SW picture quality analysis solutions. My name is Andrew Scott and I'll spend a few moments describing these products to you and the algorithms and methodology upon which they are based. Picture quality analysis requires the comparison between the test video and an original reference video. It is a measurement that requires two video sources unlike broadcast monitoring applications which are based upon a single video source. One of the most well-known and commonly used measurements for picture quality analysis is PSNR or peak signal to noise ratio. Essentially the difference between the test video and the reference is a measure of the noise that is present in the test video. PSNR is helpful in diagnosing problems in video processing equipment but it is also well known that it does not correlate strongly with human vision experiences. Tektronix has developed a human vision model that more accurately predicts the measurement result aligning with subjective opinion scores. This vision model takes into account characteristics of the display such as CRT or LCD displays, the viewing environment including the ambient lighting, the distance from the viewer to the display, and the characteristics of the human vision system itself, including the eye and the optic nerve. The result is a score called ADMOS, the Attention Weighted Difference Mean Opinion Score, which much more closely correlates with human subjective assessments than PSNR does. On this chart, you can see that the ADMOS correlation is 0.92, much closer to the ideal of 1 instead of the PSNR score of 0 0.63. More information on objective measurements and subjective assessments can be found in an application note available for download from the Tektronix website. Also available on the Tektronix website is a demonstration version of the picture quality analysis software. Click here to download version 3.5 of the PQA SW trial software. In the PQA application, click on the measure button to choose the measurements of interest. In this case, I will choose measurement number 6 for DMOS and measurement number 20 for PSNR. You can see there is a large range of measurements that the PQA application includes. To choose my reference and test files, I click on the Browse button. In the demo mode, I have a selection of two sets of files, one of a jogger in a park. Here I'll choose the reference file. The other is of people walking on an avenue. Uh, here I'm going to choose the one megabit per second compressed version of the jogger in the park. Next, I click on the measure button to actually begin the measurement. The four tiles of the display show me the reference picture, the test picture, the measurement in real time as it's being made, and a difference map. After the measurements have completed, the results can be viewed by clicking over here and seeing the results files. In this case, I have two sets of measurements, one for the jogger at one megabits per second compression with measurement number six and measurement number 20, as I selected before. And the other set of results is at two megabits per second so a higher bit rate which should give me higher picture quality. In this case if I compare both of them together on the same graph I can see that the PSNR value with a higher bit rate, 2 megabits, is higher as expected. If I compare my DMOS together in the same graph you can see a marked difference where in this case a higher value indicates a lower picture quality at the, the lower bit rate. The PQA600 and PQA-SW have a flexible input and output system for generating and capturing video per second. In this example, an MPEG transcoder is tested, where the reference video and the test video are both MPEG transport streams over an IP interface. The PQA600 adds the ability to generate and capture HD-SDI video. In this example, the reference video is captured from the HD-SDI output of a camera, also the input to an MPEG encoder. 
The test video is captured on an IP interface as the output of the encoder. In this last example, the reference video is generated from the PQA600 as a transport stream over an IP interface. The output of the MPEG decoder is captured on an SDI interface and measured on the PQA600. In the PQA application, the simultaneous generation and capture dialog is used to configure the two channels. Each of the two channels can be configured for input or output, SDI or IP as appropriate. In this case, we're configuring the first channel to play the clip and the second channel to capture on the incoming SDI interface. Thank you for viewing this overview and demonstration of the Tektronix PQA600 and PQA SW picture quality analysis solutions. For more information, please visit www.tech.com.